Hello friends, this edition is from ATTD Paris, from the biggest te technology convention for diabetes. Now, the billion dollar question, will technologies when integrated in diabetes save time? My sincere answer is no. Did the mobile phone save your time? No, it didn't. Technologies when integrated in the care of diabetes will ultimately reduce the cost of treating diabetes by reducing the onset of these expensive vascular complications. It enhances the quality of life of individuals. It is probably indispensable to have a picture of the retina. And nowadays we have cheaper, simple, non midriadic cameras and newer ones were displayed at the ATTD. This is a new uh, Libre sensor. Yes, the reader is going to get replaced with your mobile phones. And your mobile phone will have a software by name Libre Link, which will give the real time values as well as trends in the glucose. Another amazing innovation. From our center, we presented the data on the experiences from the first few hundred patients on Libre Pro Sensor. The entire presentation is posted somewhere else in the YouTube. The continuous glucose sensors are extremely common now. Of course, it's not going to replace the glucometers, but these devices are now <clears throat> meant for longer period of time. And this is a new one which need to be implanted and will be there for three months. That's 90 days. With the help of the sensor and through the transmitter, this can be seen in your phone or in the iPad, the graphs, the trends, the values will appear. It's an innovation from Sensionics and it requires a minimal invasive procedure. To put the sensor in the interstitial compartment and it will be there for 90 days. Once it is done you can pull back the sensor and of course the sensor requires a calibration with the glucometer at least twice a day. The accuracy, of course, the accuracy is comparable to that of a Libre or that of an iPro2. But here the convenience is it is there in situ for continuously and that you for three months. This is a new pump from Selnovo. They have miniaturized the insulin pumping mechanism. You can see the a tiny uh, structure with the reservoir and the head of the cannula all attached together to a very single simple unit and the entire system goes together and gets attached to the skin unlike the usual patch pumps this can be easily removed and the same unit can be attached to back due, it, due to its tiny design this is user friendly and can be carried around. It's waterproof. Is it a patch pump? No, it's not a patch pump. Does it look like the conventional insulin pump? No, it is extremely small compared to a conventional insulin pump. So it's the beauty of the new innovative technologies which has resulted in a tiny user friendly insulin pump. Almost all the glucose meters nowadays are connected to apps in the mobile phones. And this is a classical example of the contour next to glucometer. So this is testing with a test solution. And you can see the glucose values instantly appearing in the app in the mobile phone. Dana is still active now they have 
so many models yes the insulin pumps with 38 years of history can't be ignored if you ask anybody using an insulin pump whether it is a patient or a physician the biggest barrier will be the infusion set challenges it might stop delivering insulin and this is an answer to the commonly prevailing challenge the lantern pattern they have devised an infusion set with slit at the sides look at the film when there is an obstruction at the tip due to any reason and here there is a muscle and even when the tip is bent insulin delivery is still assured through the sides of the cannula <clears throat> looks very very simple but extremely beneficial to those on insulin pumps and one common reason for frequently changing the infusion set is again due to this cannula blockage which also can be eliminated with the help of this patented technology this infusion set is compatible with almost all the existing insulin pumps ipsomed as usual has come out this year with new needles and this one the needle is hidden and this has to be for hospital use by healthcare professionals needle injury is prevented the second use of the same needle is impossible and hence this is a safety mechanism every year we used to have a video review of the ATTD proceedings the biggest technology convention a word of caution many of those technologies that we have shown here are experimental and some of them are not at available in the open market the absence of use of technologies in diabetes are definitely going to increase the future cost of treating diabetes and that is the reality thank you very much and this is from ATTD Paris and from the team of Jodhidev's Diabetes Research Centers in Kenya. Bye.